What's this? I have honed to a razor's edge. Oh. What are you doing to me? <sighs> See? Sheer willpower. That's not wit. What happened? My my wit is better than his, which means I get to tell him what to do. Jingle of chains comes from your right. What? Uh, okay. I got this. Uh, whoops. You've you've broken the forge. When do you want to have that conversation with Mr. Marcus? <clears throat> I haven't seen him around all day. I don't even know if he's in town. Oh. I saw him at one point earlier. Lenora. Basically, we can have it with you. <sighs> oh, I certainly hope you don't. It would be an unfortunate fate for an old friend. Are you, ready to Are you the owner of this forge? I am the apprentice smith. How can I help? Fetch the owner for me. He's I'll only deal with the indisposed owner. right now. I see. Hmm. Well, tell your master smith that I have goods I need to trade in from our trip there. Not in the best condition, but I'm more trying to melt them down. I need... Uh, I need uh, some tools made, but... Hopefully... But mainly just want... Melted down for what they're worth. The entire contents of the crate could go for, say, five silver. Or I'll negotiate with him, never mind. Just tell him that Wardall Merchant Very wants to speak with him. Sure, next time I see him, I'll let him know. I haven't told him already. Perfect. Do you know do you know if he'll be back tonight? No idea. Take your time. I I'm sure that he'll find a use for the contents. I'm sure he will. We'll be back. Let him know. We'll be back. Do you, do you know of any good wood crafters in town? Uh, there's Aldo. He's a wood crafter. He's a short dwarf, bald head, beard. Where's Green? Okay. Well, fine. If his if his goods are good, I'll be back with recommendation and may help with your pricing later. Thank you. What? <laughs> Jeffrey? Come on, <laughs> What's wrong, Severick? I'm confused. About? How does him helping with their pricing help you with your price? Oh, uh, he will talk to me, so. I have enough. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh mister. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, is this the Forge Cat? Yeah. Sound like him. <clears throat> He's you, but better. What? Nothing. Damn you. Starts, starts okay. pawing at your ears and... Have you been having a good day today? Mm. Uh, you want that, Mr. Forgecat? Cat? No. Oh, I caught one in the thought. Yeah. I don't want to do it. I'm saying it'll be careful if you do. Maybe I should follow you. Take care, please. <clears throat> What's going on over here? Uh -huh. Something about trolls? Mm. Crazy. Uh, there's a group of people that want to go fight a troll or something. That sounds dangerously dumb. Yeah. But... I've seen it. It's big. You think you could take it? You could take it. He could take it. No master uh, craftsman. No. no woodsman. <clears throat> Have a little more faith in yourself. What is this town? It's shit. Not nothing here. He doesn't want to deal with me. It's fine. He can lose out on profit. Oh dear. Oh yeah, Miss Basil, it was it. But one slave. If it were to reach up, it could grab those windows. That's how it was. I just did do not this. want to know that. Thank you. Now I'm going big. to have nightmares of trolls. Well, I mean, if they could, right now, it's not mine. Fine. I know. I know whose it is. <laughs> what? Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> okay. How are you today, Miss Basil? I'm okay. Um, fell out of bed when I woke up. Had to have some sort of exam by the surgeons at the clinic because they thought I was on some sort of spice because of some situation that occurred there last night. Yeah. And everything else was okay. Lots of funny ha-has. One spice. I'm not on spice. I don't do drugs. I drink. It's different. Relatable. Is that why when you were walking by a, um, the bread lady's house, you were on the ground heaving? I was laughing at the funny joke. Uh, okay. What was the uh, joke? That one, actually. <laughs> okay, so, I was saying that Soma the surgeon was really good with his hands. Mm hmm. And then. That's a fucking sentence to walk in on. <laughs> <laughs> and so, with that being said, Honeydew, which is another one of our dancers, she was added on to the conversation, and then the courier over there. Added onto the conversation with uh, some sort of doctor name that was just so funny that I just I killed over. Uh. <clears throat> and, uh, you'd have to you'd have to ask him to repeat it again because it was very good. He can he can do comedy on the corner. Comedy on the corner. Mm. Well, he's coming this way. Handsome enough to work it. Stand menacingly at him until he, he comes. No. Okay. No, he's going through something. Close my you can eyes. tell by his body. Usually when he's standing, he looks like a doofus, you know? Like arms on his hips and... You know. What the f... He looks sad. No, no, he looks like that because he looked goofy, you know? Like, he, he looks like he has a dumb smile on his face all the time, even under his hood. So I don't look doofy? No. You say more like... <laughs> regal? Oh. Hmm, regal. Let me think. Disheveled. Let's see. You... Straighten up your back, arms to the side. Stand like um, 
They're master, actually. Not not like not like a tea pose. Don't meme on me. Like you're a uh, master blacksmith. Zim. You stand like him more often. You look more regal. He has very good posture. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Shriek, you're staring at me, so we're the better. Now oh, you're squinting at me. Now I can't see you. <laughs> Did you give him the so... rat? <laughs> Like you were going to earlier. Like, you see yeah. how you're Good. doing it. You should go cheer I'm adopting up. different people's poses. Just a little down. I see. Like I can tell. He's tipping it. He's I'm turning on his tippy toes. <laughs> we got to bend your leg and accentuate your hip off to the side. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> See, I happen to have more hip though, so I'd be able to. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm lacking in the hip department. Just gotta do this. Actually, did you know if you do several squats, especially in water, you can actually. Get those hips with muscle instead. Did your knees just pop? Yes, they are terrible. My knees are <laughs> basically like crunchy leaves. Understandable. Mine do that sometimes Ow. as well. I went too low. Oh. <laughs> it crushed something incredibly valuable. I end up, um. Let's see if I can do this and actually get back up. My legs hurt quite a bit, actually. No, nope, I'm not floor. doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, my leg hurts too much, Maple. Don't do this to me. Oh, no, that wasn't for you. <laughs> oh, oh was it for understood. <laughs> what happened? As you go to stand up, Back end of your training spear catches oh, the, no. uh, the stone next to you, and in trying to stand up, you trip over yourself. <coughs> your spear hits you in the back of the head. Oh. Oh. He... Get him! Attack him! Get him! Kill him! Kill! Kill! I'll give you a treat if you do so. Do I get a okay. treat if I do so? I have some cheese and salam if you care to. Uh... Sorry, Severick. <laughs> oh Wait a minute. <laughs> I will give you some of it though, because that was very humorous. <laughs> Thank you. Nom, nom, You're nom, welcome. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you just gotta know my <laughs> friends. Some salam. You want a little bit of salam? 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 I don't know what that means. One for yes, two for no. I don't think it wants any. Fine. You know, I, I heard He tosses earlier. it to you like you're a dog. <laughs> I wanted you to like the cat. Do you know how, you know how dogs catch it when you throw it? I don't think hobbits are supposed to be treated that way. No, he likes it. I don't know. This one, but not, not most of them. What do you mean, this one? You've got some special talents in you, Severick. I see. Good to know. You're so special. Have you seen some? Not in a long time. 
Mm. I hope he's <clears> okay. <throat> he went off to the, um... Oh, what did he say he was going? The embassy. Oh, really? Did he say why? Mm. Uh, some guards held up a uh, crossbow to me the other night, uh, threatening my life for him to pay 42 silver to a, uh, to a noble. They, they scary. Very scary. I know, it's um, like, I had uh, some guards hold me by the throat uh, over the ocean. You can't just ignore me the, the whole time. Very... Um, anyways, uh, please don't be spreading that around. Just know that the guards should be feared. They're oh, really? not right. all nice, and a, a lot of them follow the Capitano to a T. Best. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I got some things I gotta take care of. Right. You. Oh. You have a good day. What the? Hmm. <laughs> Magic. <clears throat> okay, cool. Hello, Ocean. We can go to the bathhouse, maybe, or um. We're heading to the bathhouse. We do have a private bath upstairs. I know you didn't want to buy it. Uh, it looks lingering. Doesn't look like we're gonna be we're able to. Thank Lisa. you anyway, Basil. Understood. Oh, come on. They're not very comfortable, but when you wear them as long as I have, it, it just tends to just be the truth of you. <sighs> let me, uh, let me see if I can talk to her. Uh. She's mad at me. What'd you do? I pulled both of us in the ocean. We're both drenched. Why did you do that? Oh, I was getting a water pedal and I, I... She tried to reach in and I so I pulled her in with me. Come on. Hey, Grumpy. Let's go for a walk. Go on. It's time to go home. gentle lapping of the water, the waves against the beachhead, drown out the slowly fading cacophony from within the walls of Nodus. Out here, even the short distance, a stone's throw from the gates. This little spot feels isolated. Another place entirely. You don't need to be on watch right now. Who 
Will you sit with me, Lisa? Oh, come on. What's going on with you? Aside from the obvious. I don't think it's just you being pulled into the ocean. I saw how you were looking at the uh, Baroness today. Something I should know about. Kyler, Lisa has always been stoic. Ever since the events of Ludford, you've known her to be very, very withheld in her expressivity. You had to learn the subtle cues, how to read her emotions, mostly in the movements of her eyes, flicking around back and forth, up and down. Through this understanding, there is a roller coaster of emotions. Frustration, fear, longing, and immense grief above all else. There is a look of hopelessness that seems to be breaking through that you haven't seen since Ledford. I don't know. I can't make things seem like they have a point. I can't. <clears throat> make you feel like you're useful. Or you, you can do things. I know you can. I know that's something that you hold over yourself. I don't like seeing it weigh you down. You can't shoulder everything yourself, Lisa. Lord knows I've tried. I know it's scary. People keep leaving or dying or going somewhere else. It's painful, I know. And if I could fix it, I would. If I could bring back these people, I would. Sometimes we can't, though.
but I think at times like this, it's important to recognize and be appreciative of what we do have, what is still here. It won't replace the people, it doesn't make up for them, but it's comforting, no? To know that there are still people around, people who care for you, your family. kept looking back at everything that's happened in the past everyone who's not with us anymore there's an overwhelming sense of if I had just been a little better if I had been a little faster or stronger maybe things would have been different Maybe that's something that you're going through. I know... I know you feel frustrated. I can see you're grieving. You probably feel like you can't do much right now. I can't fix that, Lisa. But I do want you to know that, no matter what, I'm still here. I've got your back, even when it feels like no one else does. You need only ask. I think a lot of life is playing the cards you're dealt, and unfortunately for people like you and I, a lot of the time we don't get dealt a good hand. In a way that's good, it forces us to be resourceful and resilient, problem solvers. All of these traits that I see in you. I'm sorry, I can't fix everything for you. Lord knows you deserve it. But I am here. I know. I wish I was confident in saying that there'll be an end, there'll be a time where we can rest. Maybe there will be. But see, until that point you can't be too hard on yourself, right? Don't 
Don't blame yourself, Lisa. The waves quietly, rhythmically, and slowly continue to crash against the beach, to draw out, and back again. In the distance, you can faintly hear the creaking of the decks from the large Imperial ships. And even in the evening, in the setting of the sun, can you feel its warmth? The heat of Grandia, ever present, Kylie would never admit it, but it's nice to get a little shade from where she's sitting. But slowly, as the seconds while away, and perhaps even the minutes, her shoulders look less and less tense. Her hand, once balled to a tight fist, has relaxed, the fingers hanging loosely. A hunch in the back of her neck, all of this eluding to a relaxed state of mind. Perhaps no less tumultuous, but... You find it puts you at least a little bit at ease. Dark has always been friend to a thief, to a drow. And silence... Silence is often a companion of the dark. Right now, the quiet is... comforting. They watch us, you know. I wasn't sure if I believed it originally, but now there's no doubt in my mind. They watch us. They know what we're doing. I know they care. I know they're proud of you. Just like me. Do you know her at all? She looks relaxed. More at ease than she's been all day.
it'll be okay. gone forever. Best thing we can do is keep making them proud, even when they're not around. Show them that we still love them. I miss her. But you're right. We do watch. And I am so very proud. So very proud of you both. You're doing so well, Lisa. Come on, let's get Betcha, get you back to Elle. She's probably worried. gentle breeze rolls off of the water, and with how low the sun has set, the sudden chill is almost alarming, realizing how late in the day it has become. <clears throat> I don't know if they told you or not, but um, if you need somewhere to stay, doors always open. With every sunrise, 
a journey begins. And with every sunset, a journey ends. It's nonetheless beautiful to be looking upon such a thing on a day as auspicious as today, with somebody missing and questions certainly left unanswered. But you know that once the evening has run its course, as the sun kisses the horizon once again, a new journey will begin. Right. Right. You just need to find Tyr and Venora, eh? Uh, I'm assuming they've already walked home, I would think. Do you know Ready if they have? Go? I'm heading back into the city, but if I see them, I'll let them know that you're already on the way. Thanks, Well, Rick. I was thinking of taking them back in my cart. It's close to night time. We'll be fine, Jensen. Really. I'd rather you not coming back by yourself anyway. So, you'll be okay. Well, I could stay the night there and come back in the early morning. I... I don't necessarily... Sorry, say again. I, I don't know if the... Miss... Uh, if they'll let you through. In the door? that now that I don't know how it works anymore I we'll be okay we'll, we'll be fine really all right it's okay you sure okay we're sure to oh yeah It's no trouble to give you a ride if you. All right, let's go. Come on. Take care. We will. Sorry. I'm in the uh, I'm in the loop about all of it. I figured. <sighs> Never ends. Find a way soon. I've been saying that for a while. Let's get rid of Thoughts. Well, we're all still here. At least alive. Most of us. I appreciate you looking after them. Likewise. If you need anything, you know what I just wish I wouldn't be so obstinate about the trouble. <laughs> well, likewise. Yeah. I'll Have see you one. around. Okay. Right. Sorry, I'm gonna take that copper from hey, you. They're gonna be st guards gonna be taking stuff from us. That's Hold true. Still. <laughs> hey, Sharik. Nah, I won't do it. <laughs> oh, there he is right now.
Be right back, chat. <clears throat> Sevetar. Sevetar. Goodies. As you look out at these war vessels with the Imperials, you find yourself measuring them perhaps in a way you wouldn't have seen yourself doing so a few years back. Uh, with your experiences at places like Oakenbrook and the sieges of both Adwick and Ledford, instead of sizing them up simply for being big and full of of cannons, you notice vulnerabilities. You see how easy it would be to scale the sides. And you recognize them for what they are. No more than oversized trebuchet or cannons that are meant to carry people. They're much less daunting than perhaps most of the civilian folk would take them. Sure, they could destroy this port. But they're trapped in the water. They have weaknesses. And the very fact that they are so immobile that they can't move forces inland. The Imperials are only supported by this as long as they're close to it. Eight hundred men apiece.
You think back to a time, a few years back, below Ledford, when you were all heading towards the gateway. Terrible time down there. The shrooms everywhere. The loss of good people like Nicholas. But there was a conversation that pulls you to that memory more than anything else. One of your fathers sitting with you, speaking of your uncle, while he had stepped away to check on the wounded. He told you about how Pascal had rescued him. Climbing spikes. You look out at the ships. Wood should be easier to get climbing spikes into than rock. Cover of night, a few good men, some torches and pitch, maybe some of that vaunted fire you'd heard of. Uh, you're not so big and scary, are you? Just want people to think you are. <laughs> yeah. Everything has a weakness. And everything has a price. Word is one of those ships costs the entire annual revenue of the country. <sighs> Just there. taking out one of them would be a blow. Hmm. I think your, uh, your voice is uh, I'm still a baby compared to all the other girl around here, so, you know, they made it a really big castle and everything. Did you do your drawing? Uh, uh, a bit modified. Does that mean he's an old man compared to you, then? I'm not an old man. Minutes ago when you were here. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. I'm yet to be considered a fully fledged who did it. Suppose adult in my society. Yeah, I was about to but you'll be rest assured. I have my ways. <laughs> Alright, I trust that. <laughs> Remember, one thing we agree on, we hate thieves. There is no place for stealing. In a functioning, cougar, if you're still considered in a functioning you're population, am I right? In principle, yes, I agree. I don't because know. What people, what, what do you go ahead? I'm explain. Curious. I'm curious now. I would love to have another hour-long conversation, but I have a customer waiting behind you, so if you could please. Yeah. Right. Right. Excuse me, hope I'm not interrupting. I apologize. Sounded so riveting. No, certainly not, sir. I yeah. just want to make sure I serve you as you need, sir. What can I do for you? A cup of ale, if you would. Of course. Would be 15 copper, please. Thank you. One moment, please. Instead of saying to me you're both baby. I mean, yeah, but I can probably still get away with it. Maybe. I'll only play if you Like, I'm not all pulled out the bully from all the. God. I, I would quiver to think what you can do with that. There you are, sir. I appreciate it. I've been enjoying my health call. Certainly. I'm going to the battle. Sight. Someone is looking yeah. for a car. They make songs about me. So cool. Uh, 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 I don't want to go there. Mr. Blood 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 Blood
Ocean Saw. Uh, that would be a... What you can do with that. <laughs> Hi. You're a little shorter, but shoes that you wear. Uh, they're not the black shoes. I like just decided to change my shirt. <laughs> Wait, one of the guard. I don't... I don't... I, I, uh, what can I do for you? stories about you ever since you can do with that thing in a in a fight I didn't we were going to. <laughs> Jesus fuck I just want to change the music see if, if you if you start <laughs> yeah, do, you, do you want one of their carrots a lot of carrots that was good <laughs> and you act Wait, oh, right. top of you were there, no, were you? No, what was the thing you oh, were doing? He's just gonna oh. hand you his coin pouch. Oh, no! Oh. And you we what? Don't Should I have got the best? Stop, stop, stop. What can I do for you? I wanna make with that, I wanna make sure that... No! Give me a few minutes, oh, no. I'll have a for you. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that I don't use it for anything willy nilly. Oh, no, 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 how are you today? Oh it, no. It, it, yeah. I've been good. And it got worse from there because he had a broken nose but nothing could How about you? That he was about to endure at that given moment. So, me and Ludwig were trying He's to been a uh, to see what deep day, I suppose. To try and at least lessen mm. the pain knowing that this wasn't going to go. Not sure how else to describe that. That I can understand. And considering <laughs> that I didn't have a bone saw. I guess. At first, at first, I thought we grabbed a piece of marble from making of friends with the uh, <laughs> merchant again. Oh uh, you're right, I'm spoiling you. I should uh, hide away for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, please don't. I'll be so sad. <laughs> we hate to make you sad, Miss Bezor. Making friends is one thing. Giving love advice is another. You walked in there very slowly. You walked in there very slowly, holding the bone saw like this. Probably needed. How is that going anyway? Oh. I'm doing well on their own. I gave my own advice on that. He is such a nerd. He tried to write all of my advice down while in the baths. He was going to ruin all of his stoves and studies and his quills and whatnot if he went and head into the bath. <laughs> Poor boy is oblivious. Yes. I wonder if he's even been with the woman before. I wonder if he's even been with the woman before. I'm not sure. I know Torty's been, been with many women and men and the other things. He's a little bit more experienced than him. Well, uh, surrounding himself with people like you and her would be uh, good if he wishes to learn that, I suppose. I will say, uh, it's been interesting. Party also is asking me for love advice as well, so at least I know it's mutual. I didn't even know. I don't think she realizes what it is. I didn't even know that uh, that was part of your services. It's not. I just like Miss Party. Ah, so you don't do it for I everyone. Think they're... <laughs> no. I don't think if you need any help, I don't mind. It means I get to see you more often, so it would break my heart, no. Do you think I need help? 
<laughs> no, I don't think so at all. You're too charming. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. You are. Thank you, Miss Beto. <laughs> of course. You told me you have lived for 2,000 years. Part about this whole situation. Yes. Accepting that as pure, pure facts. Apparently, you're being uh, looked at this morning. Of all the bottle keepers you have known, that I am somehow your favorite. <coughs> There was a, um, a situation that happened uh, last night over in the clinic. They were wondering if I was on spice because of the, the way that we described the situation. Soma also had been checked out too. Well, now you have my attention. I don't need to talk to anyone, do I? <laughs> Uh, no, do you want to talk to the sergeant? He's waiting for a bunch of troll hunters to come back. No, it's just these people are accusing you of, uh, well, being added on drugs. I wonder if... They'll be okay. It was, um, very scary, actually. I, I don't know how to des describe the, um, the situation that had happened last night. An intruder had him entered the clinic, and the guards out front had no idea where they had gone. It scared us quite a bit. It just appeared. <laughs> they disappeared, I think. I'm not sure. We were under the beds when we heard the sudden commotion. Hmm. Someone is interested with the clinic. I just don't want him to be alone. I've been uh, spending my days with him. Making sure he's okay. Mr. Soma. He took care of me when um, I lost my jewelry box. I'm sorry, Have I done I'm sorry. something to Did you get that back yet? Good, because I'm working on it. I'm about to pay the... <laughs> Are you now? Mm, I'm waiting for night time, actually. Well then, I'm happy. Right, are there any preferences for the meals, or just as much as I can provide, or... Uh, uh, no oh, is so cute. She has a new dress. It is. Doesn't she look so beautiful? She does. The stranger to love. The seamstress gave it to her. Gave it to her. Well, she gave for a couple of weeks ago, but I say gave. She is too kind with her prices, so. And she is. I don't know how she expects to make money, but. Uh, whatever works. Get my things for cheaper, at least. <laughs> Are you really doing this right now? I'm not going to run around and hurt you. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? I wouldn't hurt you. What was going on? It took me a moment and I am still disappointed. I had to find me. I could not help myself but the college. I'm going to name this Lucille from now I really hope those who went on that right, troll hunting well, journey when you're, when you're come back okay. Oh, well, they end up going, did they? There was a lot of yes, no, maybe so going around. I wasn't sure if they are going to do it. From what Soma told me, um, they did. Oh, okay. Meat. 
Hope they make it back in one piece. Trolls are serious business. They're very scary. I've never thought they'd be so close. There's only one, from what we know, I suppose. Windward do much, especially if they're going to deal with it now. Besides, I'll keep you safe. Hmm. <laughs> My hero. Of course. Oh, by the I'm just enjoying my time here with you. I don't get to do this with you. In a casual environment, I know, right? It's like rough duty right now. Feels mm. <laughs> like he doesn't. He's nice. <laughs> So you know, most people don't really want much to do with me. You need some like books to sit on. Or just sit on I love the mystery. You could just stack it up. You could put like a stool on top of a stool. There you go. Hello, Sanders. You want to know a secret? There you go. Of course. <laughs> Mr. Sanders has a thing for a certain um, plump thrall friend of ours. I totally didn't see that one coming. Is that right? I got I got a letter from her. Does she know? His favorite fruit is plums. I think she knows. Favorite fruit fruit is plums. <clears throat> I see. <laughs> I've been teasing him constantly about it since I found out. He follows her around like a lost puppy when they're together. It's the cutest thing. Like, uh, Vezer and Torty? Yes, in a way. So, um, they, they switch back and forth. Gets the baby. The puppy in that regards. You'll sometimes see him chasing after her, and then you see her chasing after him. They both have their ways. <laughs> and what about you? Are you more of a puppy or the other thing? Wouldn't mm. you like to know? I'm sure I'll find out. <laughs> I'm sure. The moment you hear me go, awa awa, is when you know. Well, that is a new personal goal of mine. I think I could make you do it. Let's see who'll win in that one then. Will I be the one to say it or will you? You have yourself a challenge, Miss Bezor. Listen, I got that kiss. <laughs> I have a little bit of a, a leg up in this race then, no? <laughs> you are dangerous, has anyone ever told you that? Mm. Is that so me, dangerous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you play it off pretty easily, but uh, I see the look in your eye. Not easy. Just let I see a trickster. I see a flirt. I see someone with their ears open all the time. And a few other things, maybe. Ooh. That is a little more personal. Can't wait to learn what else you see of me. <laughs> I'm no fortune teller, just experienced. Pizza water. Pizza water, yes. I think. Uh, I've seen pizza once in my life. Pizza? You don't know what a pizza is? It's the ball of terracotta. See what those are. Mamma mia. It is. It's in the document labeled beans. What she said? Excuse me? Actually exists. Oh god, it does, doesn't it? It's so fun, isn't it? Oh mm -hmm. no. Mm. 
Why does it exist and why can I not surf it? I love sitting in here from time to time. You hear all sorts of fun things. These wonderful people watching. <laughs> this table is really good for that though. You get to hear what happens right over there. You get to hear what happens behind you. Exactly. That's why I'm here. Good choice. <laughs> No, I, I can't. I physically can't anymore. What do you do in your free times, Miss Basil? What I do in my free time? What do you I do walk for around. Thank you. Mm. I stargaze. Uh, it reminds me of stories from my childhood. Stories of the moon and the sun and the stars. Today. There is uh, something charming about the night, oh, uh, the open yes. sky. I, so what I hear, I tend to mm. It's freeing, just like the ocean. <laughs> An old mentor of mine once told me that when people die, they become stars and they look down upon you. I don't know how true it is, but. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it's... I've heard that story, too. Mm. It gives you comfort. Or shame, depending on what you're doing. <laughs> well, when you're indoors, the stars can't look at you, no? It is true. You can't feel shame. Too much. I didn't think so much mind was brutality balancing. for me. <laughs> You're not balancing on a pillow. <laughs> balancing on are you floor? okay? Howdy, hello. I, think it's left oh. I don't think they are. Hey, Marcus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, interesting. Think that. This looks like You're making right. yourself a table. What are you up to, Soma? <laughs> Stop Making sure the that those that make up may or may not come back are safe and sound and healed up. Still, they haven't come back yet, which is worrisome. Oh, watch out for the horse! Jensen, what's going on? I saw you reaching. She's running back to town. I don't know if she's gonna make it. If you can help one up and bring me to Wait, you can. We should I have a bad attitude that fucks sick. Don't subdivide it. Lines it up. It, don't subdivide it. Cause oh. they will fret. Oh. Hey there, Miss Audien. I like the new look. Oh. Thanks. Yeah. I just hope this sick is okay. I feel like she comes back to town every second day half-bloodied. <laughs> Sometimes it's not her blood, though. This... this might be. She's a bjorning. Mm -hmm. They are built tough. Huh? I'm sure she'll be okay. They are. Uh -oh. Thanks for the meal. <sighs> I don't think there's anything oh. we can do. Okay, yeah, leave it to the professionals. Just, you know. Come on, I don't think there's anything we do. Well, that's a quick way to kill a party. Oh, that, it, it was popping off. It, it looked so nice. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Goes the fish head. Uh, how am I gonna learn how to flick two Hold on one moment. You'll have you'll you'll learn to flick two fish. Now, don't subdivide with me, pal. That's going to be a box right there. Oh, I that think that was you stuck can. in your hip. Maybe. If it doesn't show, it's been in your side for a while. I just noticed it very much now that you weren't holding on to it. Well, I was excited to see the party, and then, well, that was a bit of news. Good to see oh, the numbers of the 
Monsters oh. just come out. Told them not to go tackle that thing. Is that what you did? Hmm. Well, it signifies that they're done, you know? Should I give them hmm. a tutorial? So you're just waiting for a nightfall? It's More a, or less. It's, it's a custom, you know. Marcus, would you kill me if I Don't let me keep you from your other things if you have other places you'd rather be, of course. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Not that I would rather be anywhere else. I need to get back to work, regardless. I'd stop you before you of course. Yeah. All right. Don't do it was it. good you seeing you, though. Own. Yeah, you, you do. And you, Miss Bezor. You have a safe night, okay? You as well. No, there's and don't kill yourself to over a jewelry box. So support your local woodworkers and buy Please. a bundle of toothpicks today. It'll last you for three months. We'll see how it turns out. Future. Yeah. Three months, yeah, reusing the okay. same toothpick over and over and over. It's a good sale. Think about it. You know, it's going fast. We only have some money. You get to use both sides of it, I guess. And you, know, you get to use both sides, absolutely. Yeah. Do you recycle them? You know, if we have a good way to clean it, Miss Claudia, I haven't found one, but... Uh, I'm not a germaphobe, I'll just buy all the used ones. What the... Oh, very good. Huh? <laughs> yeah, used, used toothpicks. The... Miss Claudia! I don't want to spin <laughs> coins. Used so, I, mean, I don't want to spin I made three sales, thanks for the idea. Ten! Ten <laughs> silver? Oh. Maybe, uh, no, nothing, nothing. Anyway... No, oh, of course, of course. Ten silver. Ten drink silver. Ten silver. Ten silver. Loaded with money. <laughs> okay, no, don't don't use me to see how many people are actually. <laughs> actually no. Don't use me like I'm that. Just, I'm saying thank you for the food. Yes, a bundle of toothpicks is twenty copper. I sold enough for a drink. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking my eggs. Excuse me, mine's it's very oh, similar right. to the well, sale. That's enough for me. I sold soap <laughs> for <laughs> twice <laughs> copper. <laughs> <laughs> I never ever want to hear someone say they're drinking. Oh, you don't come down, Sephrak. I'm going to take the plate away from you. What a damn party! God damn it! How difficult! I'll take the plate and I will take your stick. Do not tempt me. You're not not hiding anything from me, Miss Claudia, are you? Those are very bubbly eggs. They sure are. Yes, indeed. They're very good. One could even say they're ready. <laughs> I don't need to bounce on my knees anymore. Yay! Yeah, you need to figure out a better way to sit. Sitting on your knees is not healthy. Uh, yeah. Now no. <laughs> Those are very bubbly. Ow! No, she's looking at the table. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll know what building till I hold it. <laughs> Great. Go, go, gadget. Prepare still. And listen, oh, you, don't, you don't know really? until you try, Severick. You know, you could be a pioneer. <laughs> in case, go get my strength. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's, that's annoying. <clears throat> I think it might have also been the whoops, I fell off the couch three times. You were sitting on your knees.
Yeah, we could make a grappling hook. <clears throat> I actually thought about it, but it, it would feel like deny it, but it would take too long to make. I want smoke bombs too. Smoke bombs would be fucking slick. Yeah, we know they're possible. The Viper had a bunch. Imagine letting one of those off in like a, a little room. <laughs> Yeah, but like fucking Kyla going to a fucking alchemist and being like, Hey, can you make me smoke bombs? I wanna use it to steal things. <clears throat>
I was so fucking worn down. God. I got, what, four hours of sleep last night? Just waking up early because of daylight savings is fucking killing me. Gunpowder and like some flint. The little bits of flint so that when you throw it, it sparks. They rub against each other and spark. And that would ignite the gunpowder. And then you need something to burn. Maybe some like green leaves or something. Fools. I hate it when he's right. Did I miss something? The gods should have done it. Taking care of it. I don't know if you've met me before. Oh, well, good day to you. Well, good day. So apparently, a friend has passed on this day. Yes, Lorelei. Desperation always comes into play first. I've seen that. Yeah. I heard fighting the troll, no. Well, the gods have said the reasoning. Yes. Someone has passed. They, they were. 
Hey, Pity. It is a shame that it has happened, yet I am thankful that it is only one person. A troll. I'm surprised they did not come back more... broken, as it were. from one entrance to the other. Of course, I suppose I'll remain here. Is not everyone back yet? Supposedly, uh, Mr. Tang, uh, I believe was the name they mentioned, was the only other one of the party. I'm not certain how big their party was. The North woman came back already. The gentleman is back. Miss Lorelai is unfortunately deceased, and I suppose this Tang fellow is the only one who hasn't returned. To my knowledge, at least. <clears throat> it's troublesome. A waste of good life, that's for certain. Nothing much else to do, is there? I'll work. Soma! Penguin with you, right? You fucking killed someone, didn't you? <laughs> it happened. Are you headed out? Nope. I am waiting until nightfall to make okay. my moves for um, Mr. Silvervane. But I'm just hanging around until then. I see, I see. Let me know once uh, you start to move. As far as you're aware, you last saw him enter the mercenary skill. Mm -hmm. um, Kyla uh, asked Sarah about a bit more information. Apparently, she directed him to which of his, which of the rooms up there is his. So he has that knowledge too, if she was right, I guess. Which room did she say? Do you know? Oh God. Um, she said, like, when it was on the second story, when you go up the stairs, it is, like, the face, the first one that you come across, or something, that was something along those lines. Okay, we'll see when we get there. Sure.
Thank you anyway. Wow, I can't believe Joe of Kang hasn't been seen yet. Mm. 